I gotta take a sip of this milkshake before we begin, man. I ain't sponsored by Dunkin' Donuts or nothing, but this shit good as fuck. Ho! So if you watched my last video, you'll know I did an unboxing on this joint right here. This is uh, the Blue Yeti microphone, right? Now, when I purchased this microphone, I was looking on YouTube and the internet in general on how to like use it. And what I mean by that is like what, like I know you can't just plug it up to your computer and it's just gonna start recording. Like what are you recording with? How do you transfer the sound onto like anything that you edit or something like that and I couldn't find it. So what I'm gonna do in this video is give you my overall short review of the microphone and then i'm going to show you exactly how i set it up and we're going to do a mic test so without wasting any more of your time let's just start reviewing this bitch so we have the microphone right here one thing i like about it is the build quality it feels like a quality microphone it's sturdy as fuck um i don't see this bitch breaking or anything like that it has these two knobs to where i can loosen this bitch up and move this real loose or i can ooh, or i can tighten that bitch up and it's not gonna move like that and i also like how it has rubber feet on the bottom so it's not like moving everywhere and it's not gonna pick up any extra unnecessary sound from moving on the table all right so before i plug this thing in and show you how i set it up i want to show you guys the settings on the back so on this top knob you have the gain knob and all the gain knob does is boost signal strength from the mic level to the line level and as far as where you wondering where i put it i put it right where the end is on the end of game so this first stereo setting means that you're usually talking right into the microphone but it can still pick up other sounds around you the next one which is omnidirectional means you can hear sounds coming from anywhere no matter where you're speaking into the microphone you can hear from all sides and directions the heart pattern which is the cardioid setting so like if you only want to be heard by you and that's it nothing else in the room you would put it on that setting and you would speak straight into the microphone and the last thing which is bi-directional the easiest way i can explain this setting is like if you were doing an interview to where you have a person in the front of the microphone and the back and those are the only two things you want to hear is the two people speak so you have like sound coming from the front and the back of the microphone okay so what i'm gonna do now is open my computer and show you guys exactly what i did to set this up and then give you a sound test so the first thing you need to do when you're setting this bitch up is obviously plug it in and plug it up and stuff like that you're gonna take this cord you're gonna stick this in in the microphone and then this in and in the computer now the good thing about this is you don't need any batteries or anything like that all you need to do is plug it up into your computer you'll know it's on because your uh, mute button will turn on the other thing I'm gonna do is plug these headphones up so I can hear everything I say into this motherfucker isn't that right bitch I don't know how it's gonna be for people that don't have a MacBook I would assume you just go to settings and sound the same way I am but but for Apple products you're gonna go to the Apple logo in the top left corner and go to system preferences. Once you're here, you're gonna click on sound and then you're either gonna see internal microphone, which is just the microphone that comes built into the laptop or computer you're using. And then you're gonna see Yeti stereo mic. You're gonna wanna click that. Now, as far as what software I use, I use this one right here, it's called Audacity. So what I had to do to get this was just go to the Audacity website and then download the file that was correct for my computer. It'll give you directions on the website for which one you should choose for if you have Windows or Apple or whatever piece of technology you're using. It's very straightforward and self-explanatory and it shouldn't take you that long either. So what I'm gonna do now is open it click OK. As you can see right here, it says the Yeti stereo mic is plugged up. So all I, so if I'm ready to start recording, all I have to do is press the record button and then it's going to pick up sound in the microphone. And then when I'm done recording with the microphone, I can just press the stop button. If I'm ready to use the audio file I just used, I'm going to go up here to file and then I'm going to go to export audio. Save it as whatever you want. I usually save everything to my desktop. So this is going to be test two because I did test one over here and then boom test two is going to pop up over here press the record button and then it's going to pick up sound in the microphone and as you can see you can hear the playback just the audio of what I just recorded so what I'm about to do in a second is switch from the camera audio to this audio so you can hear the sound different I want to point out that on the microphone if the red light on the mute button is just constant like this that means that it can hear everything and when you press it once like this it means that it's on mute and you can't hear anything in the microphone throwing it out there so right now I have it in the cardioid setting where that means that I can only it, the microphone is only going to pick up what's in front of me and it's not going to pick up like when I'm recording and talking to it back here. So the audio is going to transfer over to the microphone in three, two, 
and then now nah, we should be good to go and you guys can hear me into this microphone um if i turn it kind of like this then you can't really hear me because i'm not meant to speak into this side the other thing is you don't want to angle it like this um while you're talking because the mic sensor is in the front right here so you don't want to angle it i see people angling this bitch all the time you're not supposed to do that but have no fear if you want to do that interview style where you have one person on this side of the microphone and one person on this side, you switch the setting to bi-directional, and then now you can hear me as if I was in the front of the microphone. So you can hear me like this, and then if I turn around, you can also hear me like this. So this is stereo mode. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear a difference, but it's kind of picking up sounds from different areas. Um, it does still sound good and everything like that. It's picking up a lot of my mouth noises, though. I'm really not fucking with that. So I might have to move this bitch a little further if I wanted to use it in this mode. And then last but not least, we have omnidirectional. That means if I talk over here or I talk over here, I talk in the front, I could talk back here. It doesn't matter. It's going to pick up sounds from everywhere. Basically everything in the room I'm in. Like whatever I can hear, you guys will hear in the microphone. When I'm doing videos, I probably have it on the cardioid setting because I'm only going to want it to pick up me. But um, this is a good setting to have. All of these settings are good settings to have. And then boom, there you have it. If you want to know my opinion on the microphone, I kind of think it's the shit. I'm not going to tell you guys a lie and say I'm like super familiar with every single different type of microphone on the market and this one is the top, top, top notch one. But I will say coming from just uh, playing around with it and recording, doing some sound tests and stuff like that, that I see where the hype comes from. It has a lot of different settings to choose from, a lot of stuff you can control, and the sound quality is very crisp and clear. And I really do enjoy this microphone. I haven't seen a video like this one on YouTube walking it through step by step like I just did, so I hope if you're like me and you wanted to buy this mic and you just worried about setting this motherfucker up, this video helped you. Um, if it did, please feel free to leave a like and uh, go ahead and subscribe for me. I ain't trying to talk y'all heads off no more though. I'm pretty sure this video is long as fuck. So I'll just holler at y'all next time.